My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to put makeup on a face in Photoshop. So what I've done here is I've actually taken a picture of myself in photo booths, and um, I would recommend you do this too, just to get the idea for um, you know, how makeup will look on yourself, or, and this is how you can just like add it into a photo. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to and if your layers, suppose your layers aren't open, um, you can go to Window, Layers, or you can push F7. And this will give you this window right here, which is the Layers panel. And you're going to want to go to this little button down here, which is Create a New Layer. And click that. So now you've got this layer. And what we're going to start off with is the eyes. So I'm going to zoom in. And you can, if you have your uh, magnifying glass selected, you can draw a square around the area that you're going to be working on. So then you're going to go to your paintbrush tool. Um, and sometimes it'll actually look more like this. So just hold this button down, select paintbrush tool. And then go up to your options up here and make your opacity like. 50% or yeah 49 is even better because you're going to be messing with um, if you're going to make it look make, like makeup you're going to want it look, to look realistic and you're going to want to turn your brush down depending on how big your image is my image is actually uh, not very big so I'm going to add um, just some basic brown eyeshadow so I'm going to zoom into this eye and this actually um, you can, if, if this happens, this grid thing, you can just go to, to view um, and then show and then I guess it's showing now, but um, sometimes a, a grid will show up and you can get rid of it by just clicking grid. But in this case, that means I've zoomed in so close that it needs to put a grid. So I'm just going to zoom in on one eye and then I guess I'll zoom out. So paintbrush tool, and then just start painting pretty much. And as you notice, the opacity, like I said, is down. And don't be discouraged if this happens, you know, because you can just go back, erase it, because you've added a new layer. It's not even touching your painting. And so you can continue to do this. Um, and if you're thinking it's kind of looking a little messy or, you know, you're like, oh, it didn't look real, you can always change the mode of your layer. And you do this by going to uh, up to your layers. And in here, I have normal selected. You can do multiply. And what this is going to do is kind of make it so it shows through the paint. And actually, this is kind of what you're going to want for eyeshadow and anything um, you're adding to your eyes or cheeks. So then you've got this. And this kind of looks blocky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this little button right here, and it's right below the paint bucket tool. You hold down the blur tool, and you go to the smudge tool. And then, that's when you can really make it start to look real by smudging it. And really getting that look you're trying to get. So that way it's kind of like you're actually wearing makeup here. I'm going to zoom out. And if I didn't have multiply on, it would look like this. And that's not what you want. So, and then, so I've got this, and what I literally can do is go to this button, which is your marquee tool, which will help you select spots that maybe you want to copy, which is, in my case, what I want to do. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to select the eye, and I'm going to select the selection tool and hold down Option and literally drag it right across like that. Go back to your Marquee tool, free transform it, and you hold down Option. Um, and if it's not free transformed, you can hold down Option, go to free transform, and then you can um, 
hold down control again and you can flip horizontal and that way you've got an identical horizontal and then um, actually copy this don't actually let it sit yet so push command C delete it add a new layer and then add it on top and then you can uh, multiply that and already like starting to look different so now what I'm gonna do is just add some color to my lips here and you're gonna do the, the exact same thing just select a different color so I'm um, gonna select something wacky and just paint right over my lips and depending on what color you choose it'll be darker or lighter um, in this case you're gonna actually want um, you're gonna probably want to make sure that there isn't a whole lot of overlapping like I'm trying really hard to avoid right now um, just because your opacity is down so that means the the chances of overlap are pretty high. Um, so literally what you can do is what, do what I'm doing and just color the whole mouth. And then you can do your multiply again. And if you're getting that overlap, you can just smudge it out with the smudge tool. Like I told you, hold down blur, go to smudge. And then you can smudge these so that it looks a little bit more realistic. starting to look a little bit more and now I'm actually realizing the shape of my lips by doing this all right and then and there you've got your makeup my name is Alex and this is how you draw makeup in Photoshop thank you